Hey guys, this is how you do the corkscrew boondoggle. I say boondoggle weird. Okay, so you should have your starting stitch. And if you know how to do super brick, I would do a stitch of super brick because that kind of like tightens the starter stitch. But if you don't, it's fine. Whatever. So you should have three on each side and then your two on the top and bottom. So with the ones on the top and bottom, take them diagonally across to where the other one is sitting and make a loop. And do the same with the other one. So instead of bringing them straight across like you would in super brick, you take them diagonal. Now you have two loops. And in super brick, you take the strings straight across and over and under, but on this one, you do diagonal too. So take the second string and bring it over and under to where the first string is. And then bring the first string over and under to where the second one is so that they go diagonal. Then do the same with the other four strings. So take the second one and bring it where the first one sits, over and under. And then do the same with this side. Like that. And then just do the same with the last one. So bring the second string over to where the first one is by going over and under diagonally. And then do the same with the last one. Over and under diagonal. And it should look like that. And then pull. And you can kind of already see it twisting. If you don't like it that way, there is another way to do it. If you hold it sideways, that the three are on top and the three are on bottom. So you're going to take them down to where there's a crack. So take this one diagonal because you're replacing where that one is. So then you're going to take this one diagonal and put it right here. Then you're going to take this one diagonal and put it right there. Then the one closest to the loop, which is this one, the long string closest to a loop, you're going to bring it across and diagonal. Like that. Then you're going to take all the strings that you didn't do anything with and bring them on top of the black. Okay, so now with your last long string, you're going to take it through all the loops that stick out, which were the ones that you originally brought down, and you're going to do that diagonally. And then tighten it, and it does it just like the other one did. I hope you guys liked this video, and hope it helped.